Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nuggery Game! Appendix Audition! The number nine door has closed. This ends the Nonary Game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. I felt tired. So very, very tired. I felt my eyes flutter closed. I did nothing. Mm -hmm. Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Where am I? I rubbed my eyes and slid my legs off the bed to stand up. Well, to be honest, it was an examination table, not a bed. Which meant... The infirmary, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. You guess? Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out, just like you. But I was in the AB room. That bastard Why? Kay. He punched me in the stomach. I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Whoa. And after he knocked you out, he voted Betray, which brought his BP up to nine. Yes. So where is he now? On the other side of the number nine door. With Dio. You told him to go, remember? Oh, yeah. Is your arm okay? Arm. I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. I looked down at my left hand. Or rather, I looked down where my left hand should have been. Instead, there was a stub wrapped in white gauze. I told myself I'd do anything to get the cure, even if it meant letting Dio betray me. But I had a feeling I might come to miss my hand. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Quark. I'm right here. Quark. Man, I'm glad you're alright. Feeling better? Yep, thanks to you. You got the medicine from that jerk Dio, right? Luna gave it to me, and now I'm better. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. You saved my life. It seemed they'd shared stories while I was asleep. Everyone knew how how I'd made the deal with Dio and about the journal we'd found with the Latin in it. Clover and Fi seemed to have most of the talking. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We are not infected. The rest of the world is. That means this place isn't a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Yeah, fine, I had already gone over it, but I explained what I'd noticed. One, if we were in a shelter for uninfected people, why had Quark been infected? Any place designed to keep a virus like that out would have a lot of safeguards to keep anything from getting in. Had the virus really bypassed all those measures? Didn't seem likely. Two, the timing of our abductions and the pandemic's outbreak was strange. It would make sense if we'd been rescued after the disease had become widespread. But that wasn't what had happened. First, we'd been abducted, then the pandemic had broken out. 3. We didn't know why Zero had put us in the Nonary game. If we were survivors he wanted to protect, then why try and kill us? If we were in a shelter, why wasn't it safe? Um, well... What about this? Maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. But then, after a while, he got bored. So he decided to have us play this game to kill time. Who on earth would make people he rescued play a game where they could die just because he was bored? Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. What? You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did... It was only Soberil. What are you saying? That what I did at the number 9 door was all pointless? No, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's tubocurarine in the bracelet. The Adam's analysis confirmed it. But what if the Adam is lying? If you're going to do that, then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. You made it up? No. My translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? 
Yeah, what? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. How do you make that mistake? However, I do think Clover has half a point. Meaning? That someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... repopulate the planet? And go out. Well, repopulate. Hmm. I looked around and did a quick inventory. Four women, an old man, and a kid. That meant I was the only young, fertile male. Repopulation, huh? That didn't sound so bad. If that was the case, maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. If the newspaper and the journal were right, then the world outside was crawling with a deadly virus. Why would we go expose ourselves to that? This would be the safest, happiest place on Earth. The game's over. There's no point to any of this now. No, that's not true. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So, are those answers going to open the number nine door again? It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving, ever. That's all that matters. Hey. You... you're including the old woman? Yeah. Hey. You know what? What if the old lady is Zero Senior? Yeah, you're right. We never even considered that. But that would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. That doesn't make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? But we didn't find a knife or any kind of weapon in the EB room with her. Maybe she was killed somewhere else and then someone carried her in there. What? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. <laughs> sure, okay. We looked down at the body of the old woman. Fi was the first to move. Quietly and methodically, she began to examine the woman in her clothes. I just stood there. Even if she was dead, no, especially because she was dead, I just didn't feel right touching her. After a few silent minutes, Fi suddenly stopped. She pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it out toward me. Looks card. like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Huh. Looks like her name is... Kurashiki. Kurashiki. Ever heard nope. it before? You? No. Anything on the back? What? More passwords. I guess I should differentiate line one and line two. Luna said the last password was for the first gate. John B. Doll. Huh, there's something written here. It says Jumpy Doll. Well, actually, it says pass equals Jumpy Doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. What the hell does that mean? Beats me. It's like handwritten. She must have put it on here herself so she wouldn't forget yeah. it. Yeah. We were still looking the card over when I heard a commotion from the other part of the room. Alice! What's wrong? Alice! Oh no! What are you planning to do with that? Oh, Alice snaps now. It's a what? lot later than normal. <laughs> Fine, I turned around and gasped. We ran to the other end of the room and skidded around the partition. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. She didn't seem... stable. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. The look on her face was all too familiar. Quark. She looked just like Quark had before he went insane. But that meant... Goodbye! Her hand moved, lifting her scalpel up high in the air, then driving it down toward her heart. Oh shit, we didn't stop her in this timeline. No, oh, that's it? <laughs> I 
That's the quark end. So an equal and opposite reaction. So neither the quark end nor the tenyoji end got us the their backstory. Fan fucking fantastic. Well, I suppose we may as well try and disarm the bombs one more time. Now this wants me to deactivate bomb number three. So why the hell were my passwords working before? Was it because I didn't have all the passwords? Or did I actually write this password down wrong? L X Q L H Z N M R Fuck you. Sigma. Where did we get the number three bomb password from? If you find the two-headed lion, key to gate two, solve the mystery of the two-headed lion, find key to be saved, bomb number zero deactivation, bomb number one deactivation, one woman's ID card, The long string of numbers, bomb number three deactivation code. Oh, shit! What was that? Poison. Oh, there it was. LXQ, LHC. Not said. Oh, solve that mystery. Let's find out how many of my other passwords were written down incorrectly. Do, 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 Phew. I sighed and wiped it, but felt like a bucket's worth of sweat from my forehead. So, you knew the password after all. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I you did. You heard it in another history? Yeah. Just what happened in that other timeline? Ugh, never mind. We don't have time for that. How much longer? 18 minutes. Good. We've still got time. Come on. We've still got two more. The number two bomb is next on the list. So we're heading to your control room. Right. No time to waste. Oh, and don't forget the input device. And then she was gone. I hurriedly disconnected the device from the bomb and chased after her. I like zoned right out during that last bit with the map. It's getting kind of hot in here. I was thinking, man, I should look at the air conditioner. Oh, but then there's going to be more background noise from my recording. Oh, but it's fine. I'll just end up. I gotta get to a point where, like, there's a puzzle room and I can, like, take a clean break. Shall I spend laundry? You got it? Pant, pant. Yeah, right here. Hook it up. Now, wouldn't it be great if you forgot it? Done. Okay, hurry it up. Plug in the password. Done. Hey, hey, what the hell? Calm down. You probably just typed it in wrong. No, no way. I'm sure Try I did it, it right. Yeah, nothing. 
Password's no good. Then it's different. All three bombs use different password. Yeah, it looks like it. Shit! Fly slammed her foot against the locker, her face uncharacteristically uncharacter twisted by anger and frustration. This is bad. What the hell are we gonna do? That's Try easy. and remember it. Did you see or hear anything right in password. another history that could be a password? A different password. You mean like a different history from the other one I remember? Yeah. You figured it out there. You just can't remember it very well, right? Remember what happened with the last bomb. This one is just like that. Another history. Another history. A password. Do I do I know what it is? Can I remember it? I have to look down at my cheat sheet that lists all the passwords. This one we just got, so it would be real embarrassing if I wrote this down wrong. E G D D Y R N T K. Ah, uh, seriously? Wait, it's E Q D. I don't know why you did G. Oh, oh fuck. That's not, damn it. No. <laughs> I hit the. I moved it too far. Well, oh, it sounds really creepy. Okay. I, I have Q written down, not G. Why I put G in the first time, I don't know. Let me use this mouse for this so I don't miss here. E Q E D Y R. Put this over the check so I won't fuck it up. N T K. Thank you. Damn, this is crazy. So you did know it. Yeah, I guess so. Don't scare me like that, all right? Come on, it's not like I was hiding it. I just couldn't remember it at first. I'm just kind of floated up. We all float up here. Maybe it drifted down. Point is, we disarmed the thing. Amazing. You sure don't sound very amazed. Okay, that just leaves us with the last bomb. It's um. It's in the garden. Right. Let's go take care of it while you're on a roll with these things. Ugh, you make it sound so easy. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. She spun around and was gone. I gripped the input device tightly and headed off after her. There it is. Little number Finally. One. How many minutes left? Nine. Less than okay, ten. we can still make it. Just stay calm, all right? You have the input device? Yeah, there we go. Connect. Okay. We've done this twice already. Do you really need a third pep talk? You want me to remember another password? Exactly. Me? What else would I be talking about? But don't sweat it. You did great the last two times. I'm sure this one will be a cakewalk. Good time's the charm, right? That's, uh, not really how that's used. I just worried that this lightning's not gonna strike twice, or thrice in this case, I guess. No, I think mine still works. There's nothing to suggest the first and second times aren't charmed, too. Uh, I guess so. Whatever. Just do it. You're the only person who can. What about you? You can jump to other worlds too, Yeah, right? but I, I can't remember things as well as you, all right? I'm doing the best I can, but either I haven't seen the stuff you have, or I just can't remember it. Maybe we've been going to different worlds. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm really counting shy. on you. Password, password, password. Remember, remember, Sigma. Come on, lightning can strike twice or even three times. You can do it. You did before, you did it twice before. This is nothing. You're a champion. Come on, Sigma. You can do this. Pull open the door to your memories. Okay, what's this one? Let's let's make sure I'm actually putting the right letters in. B Q Z R G J D X R. Oh, finally. I got it on the first try instead of looking like an idiot for once. Yeah, 
Yeah, <laughs> suck on that, Dio, you arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, it feels good. I haven't felt this satisfied in ages. It's like my whole brain is just swimming with endorphins. I feel like it's just gonna melt and dribble out my ears. This is without a doubt what heaven feels like. Honestly, I feel like I could fly right now. Hell, I almost wish there was another bomb so I could feel this again. Isn't this great? Why? Hey, what's going on? You're really harsh on the vibe here. I'm gonna kill you to smile, you just saved everybody. Oh, also, not that I needed or anything, but it sure would be nice to get a thank you or something. Oh, thank you, Sigma. You're the greatest. You're so awesome. I'll dress up in that swimsuit for you, just like I promised. I mean, just the swimsuit thing would be fine, really, but... Are you even listening to me? I am. You said you wished there was another bomb, right? Well, well I mean, I don't really... I hope you're happy. You're going to get your wish. What? I remembered something, too. Just a glimpse. We must have confronted Dio about the bomb. I'm not sure how, but we got him to tell us about them. Exactly. I've planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. 